from the city, the city is still. I'm from the city, the city is still. All right, guys, welcome back to Pittsburgh. This is Anthony. That's Marty. He What's still up? got those tickets. We are still in Columbus, Ohio, and right now we are at Card Collector 2 shop. So we're gonna head in here and see what we can find. So if anyone is in Columbus, Ohio, or going to be in that part of town, highly suggest you guys check this place out. Definitely a destination you wanna see. So first impression, guys, just walking in the door is this is pretty cool. He has like a card vending machine. He has all kinds of pictures here from Card Talk and other stuff. And this is the famous room I've seen on YouTube. So, you know, your boy wants to check it out. Bo Shizzle. Lots of merch over here. I did pick up a hat. Marty's in his natural habitat. Bargain. This is right off the bat. What are you, bro? It's awesome. They have an entire wall of bargain boxes here, guys. How awesome is that? If you love to hunt bargain boxes, this is your shop. Here, that's the white select there. It's nice. Not bad. It's not bad. Basketball up. guys to the mark. Oh, nice. The so those individual ones? Yeah. Probably not gonna find the best value. Dude, them. this is an entire wall of bargain boxes. Look, dude, PSA. Obichette. So your boy is automatically going to dig through some bargain boxes, but when said bargain box has graded cards from PSA, Beckett, and SGC in it, you know your boy is digging through that bargain box to see if I can't find any gems to bring you in our auctions we do every Sunday at 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, guys. Make sure you subscribe to check those out. Dude, I literally thought the last shop was the coolest shop I've ever been to. And now we're here. And this might be the coolest shop I've ever been to. This is impressive. Definitely one of the cooler shops I've been to, guys. And honestly, if you're in the area, it's definitely one you need to stop by and check out. Because not only do you have the opportunity to meet Ryan, who, you know, is the shop owner slash YouTuber, but you also have the opportunity to really see a shop that's really innovative, that does a lot of things that other shops don't. Um, just really cool. Like, I love the fact that they have bargain bins for days. Like, that's my favorite part of shops is being able to see extreme heat in display cases and then having bargain bins because that's where I make my money is in the bargain bins. So I absolutely love being able to go to shops that have bargain bins and... I'll tell you what, these guys definitely had bargain bins. They had tonnage upon tonnage upon tonnage. Just, And as you can see, this box right here is just nothing but graded slabs, which is awesome. Buy anything good? That's what I'm looking at so far. Nice. Not bad. Another thing that Brian had stocked fully was wax, guys. They literally had all different kinds of wax. As you're gonna see, because me and Marty are about to rip some at the end of this video, so make sure you stick around so that you don't miss and see what we got. Speaking of wax, wait till you guys see all of this wax. They have even more over in this corner of the store as well, which is pretty dope if you ask me. So this was really unique. This is what they call their card bar. So they literally have it sectioned off by sports or themes. So as you can see, we're starting off with the baseball part. So as you can see, tons of graded baseball heat. Really like the fact that they have a lot of graded cards here because I'm a graded card collector. I just love the way cards look in slabs. So the more I see slabs, the more I get excited. They had some Tiger Wood. They had some hockey. They had some nice... Uh, Fortnite cards in here. They even have an autograph Hulk Hogan, which I didn't notice till later, but you can see it right there next to the soccer card. Autographed Hulk Hogan, sick, right above that Charizard. Just really, really nice stuff. They had a great selection on basketball as well. As you're about to see, there's some big time PC players in here. Let's see if you guys can pick out the card that I buy before I even tell you which one I bought. Now, hint, it's not basketball, so. It'll be really curious to see in the comments if anybody can guess that before I actually reveal what card I bought for my PC shop. 
they have a lot of really really unique stuff as you're about to see right up here my boy Zydrunus the Goskis they got a little auto going on right there for 30 doll hairs uh, yes please so you can see really awesome awesome unique cards in here they also got my boy Larry Nance and a mosaic Genesis yes please absolutely all day every day but tons of really high-end stuff in these it's a really unique concept how they've actually turned the display case into kind of like a card bar which is awesome so you can see we're getting into some of the football now which football is super hot in this market so your boy's been picking up a lot of it as of late so let's look at some of the stuff they have Yeah, you boys picking up a Big Ben rookie jersey patch. Anderson Verizon rookie auto. Pride of Brazil. All right, guys, back to digging. Let's see what kind of heat we can find. Definitely love digging through football, especially with this rookie class that we have. There's some big time players available this year, guys. So, definitely some heat in these boxes, to say the very least. Really satisfied with the quality of stuff we were able to find here for sure. His stocks dropped just a touch. Yep. Interesting. It scratched out, but that's an 04. Same offensive lineman cards aren't more valuable. I know. My Joe Thomas collection would be very impressive if they were. Right? That is a major bummer, though, because a big part of my football PC outside of Pittsburgh Steeler cards are offensive linemen. I have a huge collection of Joe Thomas, Tony Baselli, Anthony Munoz, Bruce Matthews. All of like the all-time great offensive linemen are guys I love to collect because I grew up playing those positions and those were the guys I grew up really looking up to. So, a fun fact. Is this from like the National? Yeah. Check that out for, just pulling out cards that I'd be interested in good grade and then yeah. I'll check the grading. The Eastern Stick. It would be that Eastern Stick. The Davis Webb. <laughs> Nobody loves Davis Webb. I think that's kind of underrated. Two dollar Tannehill rookie. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely underrated. Tannehill's been having himself a nice little career, especially since he's been with the Titans. Definitely think he has rebounded a lot. A lot I think early in his career, there was a lot of people that thought he might have been a bust, you know, unless you were a Miami Dolphins fan. Then most Dolphins fans I know definitely believe in the guy. But, man, he's definitely turned it around as of late. So kudos to the man Ryan Tannehill. It's a shame. If he shows any talent, that's a steal. I know. Too bad he's never shown any talent. <laughs> what do you guys think of Mitch Trubisky? I'm not too big of a believer in him, but hopefully the guy rebounds. I don't know. He was a high pick. Hopefully he can catch that magic in a bottle again. Oh, you know what I actually... Is this a single? And we're gonna work our way into that. Um, nice. Car collector two shop. Let's go. Speaking of which, check out these beautiful pickups. Ooh, that uh, already seems to be bay. Sova. Asley. Uh, <laughs> Damn, you want that one? It's a big bay. Dude, Sadiq Bay isn't bad. I'll actually take that, dude. I'm mean, here for yeah. 15 bucks. It's like a loss. All right, now let's see: 30 cards inside, five packs per box, or five cards per pack, six packs per box. Yeah. 
Let's go Trevor Lawrence hunting. That should probably be the auto I get in here. That would be awesome. Be a lot cooler. What are the odds of an auto? One per box. Oh, so you definitely get an auto. Nice. I thought it said. Oh, no, 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 never mind. I'm an idiot. I thought it was an auto on this. It's like... Uh, One purple prism? Yeah. Never mind. I'm an idiot. I don't know what I was looking at. I was looking at something else earlier. Very Tony though. That's not bad. Jamar Chase. Keenan Allen. Definitely like Chase. Keenan Allen. Wow. Chase Young. Nice. See, I'll take that though, man. That's that nice. was a decent pack, That's yeah. Nice. Two cards over there I like. Other than zero cards out of there I like. Yep. Another Jamal. Nice. You're pulling all the Jamar. There you go. Pat you Fireman. You these because I just pulled up now I have two. Nice. What do you pack? DK. Aaron. Joseph. Why <laughs> just? Yeah, if you find all of them, they're going to come back and look like it's authentic, right? Justin Fields. Nice. Caleb Farley. Patrick Serkin. Is that a silver? Yeah. Yep. Jalen Big Rig Rigger. Yeah. Sam. <laughs> it's a blast from the past time. Sure is. Let's see some sexy prism of Trevor Lawrence coming up. That would be pretty nice. Parsons. Get a green yeah. coming up. Jazz Nelson is not a rookie though. Uh, Chase. James Robinson. Karen. Let's see some. Darius Tony Crusade, Sam Ellinger, Bain, it is a rookie. Ooh, missed the fields. Nice. That's a nice one. We'll take that. Deshaun and Higgins. Those are absolutely the wrong Clemson players, and I take that personally. I don't blame you. This last pack? Yep. Oh, that's where the purple is, so yep. hopefully it's, a, it's not a rookie, so never mind, who cares? Trayvon Moorig, Najee. Nice. <laughs> of all the freaking parallels you can get, Daryl Panini, Anderson. get your head out of your ass. <laughs> Ronald Jones, Allen Robinson. Overall, not bad, though. But... Yeah, I think that was part of the start of the show right there, Justin Fields. What's that, the Daryl Henderson? Yeah. Definitely the Daryl Henderson. <laughs>